Hey guys, this is Jamar Dawson from Dawson Adventures. Hope you're doing pretty good today. So as the title suggests, we're going to be talking about the best vlogging camera, in our opinion, of 2019 and beyond. So to give you a little background, a couple of months me and my wife were talking. We said, look, we got a couple of views, we got a couple of videos. How about we really try this vlogging thing? But in order to do that, we really need a good camera. We really need something that actually levels us up, so to speak, in terms of quality. We were using our cell phone cameras, we were using an old Canon T3, we said it's time to step up. So we formulated some requirements and we came up with a good list that helped us determine what our decision ultimately was going to be. We figured maybe that could help you guys make your choice as well. We set it on a Canon M50. We felt like it was a good balance of price, functionality, and all sorts of other things. We're gonna go ahead and share that list with you now. So like many people, number one on our list was cost. For us, we looked at a couple of different cameras and we decided we didn't want to dip down too low and be too cheap because we really weren't going to get the performance that we needed out of uh, certain point and shoot cameras, for example. We didn't want to go way too high up there and buy some of the top of the line premium cameras and break the bank. We settled on a price around $700. So this Canon M50 fits the bill perfectly. For the bundle that we bought, it came with not just the camera body, but the kit lens. It came with a shotgun microphone, and it also came with an SD card. Number two on our list was size and weight. This is really important because since we're vloggers that kind of go out and are doing adventures or whatnot, uh, we need to sometimes hold the camera out in the selfie mode. You guys know what I'm talking about? And if you're gonna be doing that, you need something that's not too heavy. At 0.85 pounds, Canon M50 really fits the bill for that. Both me and my wife can hold the camera out for extended periods of time, and our arms don't get really tired. Also, the camera is really small. It's almost pocketable. If you really want to, you could take the lens off the camera. The pockets are big enough. You can put the camera body in one pocket, the lens in the other pocket, or you could just put the lens cover over the lens of the camera and put it in a purse or a small bag. Because it's so small, you could take it just about everywhere. And as a vlogger, who might need to get the perfect shot at just the right moment, having that portability is key, at least in our opinion. Our third requirement was getting a camera that is present and future ready. Okay, Jamar, what are you talking about here? What I'm saying is you need something with Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connectivity. Let's just say you're out in the field and you need to review your footage or you want to upload something that you just took to Facebook or to Instagram or Twitter or wherever else, having a camera that allows you to have some talk back, so to speak, with another device uh, is key. So you can do that thing really quickly versus taking the SD card out your camera, plugging it into your computer, doing all that kind of stuff that's really slow. Well, in the modern age, you need something with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the Canon M50 has that. Another really cool feature about this camera is that it does feature Canon's latest dual pixel autofocus technology. Now, this is vital. Let's just say you're recording yourself as a vlogger. Uh, you could be uh, pretty confident uh, because of the technology that you are in focus, your face is in focus. As a matter of fact, there's face detection uh, built in within the software. Um, and as I'm recording right now, I'm looking at my viewfinder screen and I can see a little box around my face to verify that yes, it is tracking my face, really important. Another cool thing is we're kind of talking about the viewfinder. Um, there is a touch screen that comes with this Canon M50 in the viewfinder. So touch screens are extremely intuitive for people these days versus the old classic camera buttons, which takes a long time to learn. And um, you could do a lot with this. It's, it's not just a touch screen, just for the sake of being a touch screen, but it's fully functional. A lot of the buttons are redundant with the touch screen. Really cool feature. Another great thing about the camera is that this comes with Canon's latest Digic 8 technology for processing power. It also features a 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. So the same sensor and really the same processor that's on some of their more expensive cameras. That's really cool. Uh, you can feel comfortable that you're gonna be getting really good quality photos with this. You get pair this camera with a good lens and you're gonna be able to really do some damage if you wanna take some high quality photos. But the kit lens that it comes with is pretty good. Since we're talking about the kit lens, uh, the last sub point for this particular topic is that it features image stabilization inside of the kit lens that comes with the camera. Not only that, in body or inside of the camera body itself, it has digital image stabilization. So those two coupled together make for a really smooth filming shot. Vital when you're walking or you're going up and down steps as a vlogger and you have it in selfie mode, you need something that smooths the image out. The next important thing for us was add-on capability. So one of the things I'm big on is audio. We needed something 
like a hot shoe that allow us to bolt on essentially a shotgun microphone to the camera to ensure that we have pretty good audio. Another cool thing about the hot shoes is that you could put an LED continuous light uh, attached to the top of your camera. So if you're in situations where the lighting is a little too dark, you throw that LED on there and now you're kind of uh, manufacturing the lighting that's appropriate and necessary that your camera is going to need to get a good shot. The next important thing for us on the list was a variety of recording options. So with the Canon M50, you could record in 720, you could record in 1080p at various frames per second, you could even venture into the world of 4K. Now, it limits you a little bit, it kind of holds you back, it just really gives you a little taste and dips your finger in the pond of what 4K really is. It crops your image, so essentially you don't get a really good wide angle shot, as well as it caps uh, your frames per second at 24. So you're rather limited, you can't really shoot anything up close, it's going to look really choppy. Uh, but if you're shooting like something far back, a mountain scene, you're going to be fine. The remedy, obviously, is to drop things back down to 1080p where it still looks really good. It's technically classified as high definition. Uh, and what I like to shoot at is 60 frames a second. It looks silky smooth, really good. Like I said, a variety of recording options. In addition to if you're just doing photography, uh, you have the standard raw format and you also have JPEG compressed format. Number six on our list is the simplicity of use. The great thing about this camera is it has what I kind of call an easy mode and it kind of helps walk you through the various settings and functionality and features that is contained within this camera. If you're going to AV mode, if you go to TV mode or go to P mode, it, it tells you with words and pictures what those things actually mean. So it helps you build your camera repertoire and this is helpful and extremely useful for beginners and people who have a little bit more experience like myself but isn't like considered an, an expert helps me to really understand uh, some of the mechanics of what I'm doing. Another really cool feature about this camera is that when you turn it on you can kind of get to where you want to go really quickly. Uh, for vloggers however there's a big red shooting button so as if you just need to record let's say you're taking pictures and then you all of a sudden need to switch to start recording something you hit that big red button and it starts recording right away you don't have to go and try to get it to the recording mode just hit record and you're good to go like i said very simple very useful features on this camera last but not least our remaining requirement was that a camera has an articulating view screen if i'm shooting up high let's say at a wedding and there's a bunch of people i could take my viewing screen and tilt it down or if I want to get a really cool low shot uh, I could do just the opposite tilt it up towards me or like many vloggers I need to spin my camera around in like a selfie mode I could take my camera viewfinder flip it out and I'm looking at it directly now and I could monitor what's in the shot what's in the frame what's what's going on if I'm in focus etc etc I think that is absolutely vital for a vlogger in today's times so that is our list guys it really helped us determine what are we going to do it gave us some parameters to decipher we need to make our decision based off of. Of course, no camera is without its flaws. Canon M50 certainly has a few backdraws. The biggest things that we discovered was that the battery, as you probably have discovered by now by looking at videos on YouTube, isn't the most uh, ample, so to speak. There's a lot of power that this camera really needs to operate and function. Uh, so if you're gonna be going out for more than 30, 45 minutes, make sure you bring a backup battery that's fully charged at least one extra one preferably two you could kind of remedy this if you're in the home you could buy uh, a special battery that kind of acts like a dc coupler and you could connect that straight to the wall and you have continuous power so there are some solutions to the battery issue another thing is like we mentioned before 4k is kind of handicapped so if you have a cropped image it's at 24 frames a second um, this isn't really meant to be a fully functional 4k camera you know that you use for for all your 4k needs it really just gives you a sample and a taste and you know not many people really need 4k in these days and not, not too many people have 4k tvs yet uh, but 1080p still looks really good on this camera lastly because of where the audio port is it kind of blocks the viewing screen when it's in the selfie mode so to speak when it's articulated and, and flipped out uh, by like two percent but really that's not that big of a deal at least not to me i mean if you have um some type of microphone input to the camera that's really big and bulky it's going to take up a little bit more of the screen so keep that in mind but uh, with the Rode shotgun mic input that came with the camera, it's really not that big of a deal. So guys, I hope you enjoyed our video. God bless. If you want to continue to follow us, uh, please subscribe. You know, if this video helped you out, you know, maybe throw us a like. If you have any comments or questions, 
please leave it in the comment section below. We've got a couple of videos coming up on the horizon for 2019. Really excited to share with y'all. And um, until next time, stay safe. Peace out.